Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be building the biggest propeller plane in Stormworks. I know that sounds like a, uh, a myth, that might be something that we won't do, but honestly, we are going to be building the biggest propeller plane in Stormworks. We're going to do it, we're going to do it at this workbench right here, and it's all going to be complete in one video. So there's not going to be too much detail, but it should look pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? <laughs> Okie dokie, so the first thing we're gonna do is get it being the longest we can actually possibly build it. So, let's go ahead and build it from this end all the way out to wherever we can actually go to. I'm not sure how far it'll allow us, uh, to there, apparently. Very good. We're then gonna go ahead and do it on the rear too. This is gonna take its time, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna take forever to build this, but we're gonna try. So, there we go, all the way back there as well. Now I need to figure out how long this actually is. So let me go do that really quickly. Okay, so I don't know whether you guys know this, but it is 511 long. That is the longest it can possibly be in this workbench, so that's what we're going to do. That then means that we need to actually work on how big our wings are going to be. Uh, so let's go ahead and figure that out real quick. We're going to make them slightly higher than the rest of this. There you go. Not entirely sure whereabouts it, that it needs to be. More towards the front than the rear, so this is fine. And this actually needs to be 700 and... I don't know, like 700 and... I don't know, 60? I don't know, really big anyway. So we're going to go ahead and make these, I don't know, 350 each, or 375 each if we can. No, we can't make them that big. We can't actually make them that long. That is 255 on each side, uh, which is what, 510? That's not big enough. Oh, yeah, I guess it's 511 overall. So we need it to be even bigger than that in terms of wingspan. This is ridiculous. Alright, so this is where some extra things come in handy. We need to get ourselves a pivot, and we're going to go ahead and smack it on here. So, uh, these pivots are actually going to be these guys. There we go. We're going to go ahead and whack those on there. Actually, about three away from the end. There we go. There, and also here. Hopefully going the exact same direction would be great. There we go. Fantastic. And that is going to be our power to lower down the wings. We're actually going to go ahead and try and attach two more to here. Just to make them a little bit stronger. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and whack that on there like this. Make sure it is the same way as everything else. Good. And we're going to do the same thing right here too. Alright, fantastic. So now we need to figure out how tall it actually needs to be from here. This is actually insane. Not going to lie. There we go. So how tall does it have to be to go up from here? Let's see. Okay, so it needs to be something like 150 tall. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Here we go. 100. Wait, no way it needs to be 150 tall. Is my maths all wrong on this? Maybe. Uh, here we go. 100 and... Uh, I don't know. 150 seems like a bit too much. Let's go with actually 120 instead. And there we go. That's how big the wings are going to be. That's insane. That is actually insane. Alright, so anyway, let's go ahead and try and figure out how to actually build this thing into, uh, into itself. So we're going to go ahead and have like a pretty flat front because honestly we're going to have to. There we go, that seems pretty good. We're then going to go from here like this. There we go, we'll put that there. And we'll put this here. And of course it is actually going to be a seafaring vessel. So, uh, a seafaring um, aircraft? Yeah, sure. Anyway, we're going to go with these guys. Here we go. So we're going to make the nose out of these. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to make it massive because it is huge. <laughs> So, yeah, let's go and delete these guys real quick. Go ahead and put these guys on here. There we go. Fantastic. And then that's going to get sent backwards to wherever it needs to be. So this is going to go all the way back to there. And, I mean, hopefully that's fine. There we go. We might have to move some of these things out of the way, but I'm sure it's okay. So that's good. There we go. We're not, like, doing a beauty contest with this thing or anything. We're just trying to make it the biggest propeller aircraft in the game. So... Let me go ahead and uh, continue with building the hull, and uh, I'll get back with you guys once we actually start making it wider. Alright, so here we are guys, this is the front of our aircraft. I know it looks ugly, but here we go. So, what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to attach these guys onto here, just like so, and extend that down. It, I have made it slightly taller, so that it's going to be like very flat on the front, uh, but that's okay. I wanted it to be a multi-story aircraft, so um, that is what we've done here. It could probably have about three floors, which is ridiculous, but uh, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now we can go ahead and attach these guys onto here like this. Extend that all the way up to there. That's fantastic. Then we should be able to attach these guys as well. There we go. 
all the way up to there, and that is insane. Uh, and essentially, I'm just going to do this over and over and over again until it's as wide as I want it to be. Then we're going to round it off, and hopefully, it'll look cool after that. All right, I think that'll do. It doesn't have to be, like, super duper wide. Actually, we'll make it slightly wider than this anyway, because I feel like it'll be nicer to do so. So there we go. We're going to make it a little bit wider, just like this. And there we go. That actually looks sick. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the sides, and we'll see what it looks like after that. And there we go. Now we actually have a bottom side to it as well. What do you guys think? I mean, it's pretty insane, I'm not going to lie. It is pretty large. Uh, but now we're going to build the sides in. They're all actually going to be very flat, the sides. So we're just going to go ahead and send it from here, uh, being extremely flat all the way backwards. Now, this is going to add so many blocks, it's going to be insane. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build this in backwards, and we'll see what it looks like after that. There it is. I mean, it's super long, uh, which is exactly what we wanted from it, so that's good. Uh, we're now going to go ahead and continue with these guys, and uh, essentially, we're just going to keep going upwards. Uh, so keep dragging it. Bringing it up like this, uh, it will be relatively round, but not from the beginning, obviously. So let's go ahead and attach that onto there, bring it up to there, and another one. There we go. And honestly, that's probably enough. So go ahead and attach this guy onto there. Excellent. Uh, we're then going to send this backwards as well. So if we can get it all the way down to the end, that'd be great. There we go. Fantastic. And then I'm actually going to attach the sides in using this all the way down to the end also. Hopefully this works out, because uh, if it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Anyway, extend that all the way backwards as well. And then finally, this one, all the way backwards also. There we go. That's so cool. All right, so there we go. Let's say we bring it all the way to the back end like so. That is, I mean, pretty insane, but sure. We're now going to go ahead and attach these guys onto here like this. There you go. And we're just going to go ahead and build that straight down uh, all the way like this. There you go. I know that seems pretty weird, but that is what we're going to do. Um, and the back end is also going to be extremely flat. Um, if you're wondering why, things actually run better in Stormworks being like all one piece anyway. So me building it like this is actually a really good, a good way of doing it, I think. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and build all of this down here and uh, that'll be epic. Yes. All right, there we go. All the way up to there. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Turns out I need to change it. Uh, the bottom of the actual boat itself is, oh, I say boat, the plane. Uh, is actually here. So we actually need to somehow merge it in with that. I don't know how this is going to work, but yeah. I'm going to delete all of this and see if I can fix it to that instead and see if that'll look a little bit better. There we go. We did it. We actually did it. I mean, that's insane. That is so long. I didn't say it was going to be pretty. I did just say it was going to be the biggest. So that's what we're going for here. The biggest. Let's do this. Come on. We just got to build all of these pieces in now. It's going to take me 10 years to do this. But uh, as soon as these are in, uh, and I actually seal it off. We'll get it floating and uh, we'll see what we think of it because we might not like it at all uh, And we might change it, but no, I think I think we're gonna have to stick with this no matter what happens So uh, let's see. All right So we need an actual place for maybe the captain to sit or the pilot I should say maybe not captain uh, and that is gonna be an entire room on the roof So there you go. I know that's weird, but that is what we're gonna do We're then gonna attach all these guys together and send it all the way to the back and that is going to be it sealed. And then once it's sealed, uh, there's not much else we need to do. I mean, we need to build wings, obviously. We need engines. Uh, we need to actually build pontoons for it to float. But once we got all of that, we just need it to fly. That is that is all we need. Also, I did just notice there is a hole in the floor underneath. So we need to fix that real quick. But uh, let me go ahead and delete all of this before we do anything else. And there we go. Right, delete all that. Excellent. Fill in this little hole in the floor all the way to the end as well. And then, voila, we should have a floating thingamabobby. Oh, actually, we need to build this in first, though. Yeah, this thing needs filling in first before we have a floating thingamabobby. Okay, so let's go ahead and build ourselves a little bit of a bridge on this thing, or a little bit of a cockpit. There we go, good. Uh, get ourselves some windows, and we're going to smack these all in. So three by three, that seems big enough. Let's go ahead and smack that on there, and we'll actually have it there, and also there, off to the side. Fantastic. We're then actually going to go ahead and do these guys down the edges. One, two, three, four. There's going to be a lot of them, not going to lie. So all the way down there, that's fantastic. And we're going to go ahead and attach these guys to each other on the inside right here, if I can. Can I fit these together? How do I do this? <laughs> Windows are difficult, my guys. All right, there we go. Flip it. Uh. So it needs to go in there. Some there we go. We're going to just do it like that. That's fine. Attach this guy directly in the middle of those. Just like so. There we go. Fantastic. And that's where it's going to be. All right. Pretty insane. Pretty strange. But that's what we've got. I'm then going to go ahead and do this down the back end. 
I wish I had like one by eights, but that's fine. And we're going to do that all the way to there. We're going to do it over and over and over again. And hopefully, uh, it'll look good. There we go. We're going to do it one higher. We're going to attach all this together, just like so. And we're going to do this too. Adds a tiny bit of detail to something that is otherwise extremely flat. But there we go. Do that. Nice. Okay. Uh, so now we've got to go ahead and put a roof on this so that it's sealed. And then once it's sealed, um, I, I mean, I guess uh, it'll float, maybe. All right, here we go. Spawn all this in. Oh, yeah. All right, delete those guys. Fantastic. So it's sealed. It should float. Let's see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Yes. Look at the wingspan on this thing. That's ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. However, it is actually floating, so that's good. All right, let's get it back in the workbench and build those wings. Let's do this. All right, so uh, this uh, wing situation is going to be extremely difficult to figure out. So uh, we're going to go quite far out, and we're just going to go ahead and attach one of these onto here like this, and quite far forwards. They're going to be huge, so that's the thing. But anyway, build this all the way out to the edge. That's not big enough. We need to go further forwards than that, which is pretty insane. Uh, we're going to go to about here instead. In fact, let's just build it in from there. Whack that in there. Delete this. Delete this all the way backwards to here. And we're going to go for it. <laughs> we're actually going to go for it. This is so silly. This is so silly. But anyway, uh, go ahead and grab this. Attach it directly onto there like so. And build it straight out. Literally all the way to the edge. That's, that's where it needs to go. So all the way out to here. There we go, fantastic. And if you're wondering why I built it like that, there is a reason, but it's fine for now. We don't have to explain. All right, here we go. Do this all the way down to there. All right, fantastic. This wing is ginormous. There we go, all the way to there also. All right, fantastic. Wing is, wing is sort of on. We now need the wing to actually continue. <laughs> we need the wing to continue, which is insane, but yeah. So grab this. From here, grab it all the way to there-ish. That's fine. And then grab it all the way to the ceiling. Okay, because we need to move it out by, like, one. So cut this. There we go. Move it sideways. Uh, there. Yeah, no, I think that's right. There we go. Paste it there. We now need to do the exact same thing on the other side. So let's go do that real quick. And hopefully this will be good. All right, if you guys are liking this video so far, make sure to actually like it down below. That'll help me out massively. And consider subscribing too to see more videos like this one. There we go. We did it. Okay, merge this with this. There we go. Fantastic. Go ahead and attach these guys together also. That's also great. And I'm also just going to grab this and send it inwards too. Here we go. It's going to go from there to there. That's fine. Go ahead and merge this one on because clearly it's in the wrong place. And there we go. Good. Delete all of this. Seal this off with this guy. Oh, oh, ammo. There we go. Brilliant. And there we go. We got a huge wing. Now, again, I didn't say this is going to be a pretty plane. I just said it was going to be the biggest plane. So um, there you go. Right. We now need to actually extend those wings upwards onto there. Now, I need to do maths in order to actually calculate this and do this. But let's see what happens, shall we? So let's say we started with one of these. All right. So there we go. Put that there for now. Then we're going to have to grab one of these and do this. Literally all the way up to the end of that. So it's going to go all the way up there. Okay, fantastic. But it's not quite right. So we need to bring this this way. Delete all of that bit. That's unnecessary. Delete all of this. And then we need to move this to the front of there. And then attach it all on. And hopefully that will work. So let's do it. Grab it from there. All the way to the bottom. Go ahead and copy it. I'll cut it, sorry. Got it. Move it forwards. Forwards. Uh, Over. There we go. Good. Uh, and that needs to go. I don't know where actually. There. All right. This is where my um my maths and stuff doesn't really fit. Anyway, paste that there. That's good. And now we need to do the same thing on the other side. So let's go do that really quickly. And there we go. Okay. Right. Excellent. So now what we got to do is attach this onto here, which should be a separate piece, I think. There we go. Brilliant. We're then going to attach this guy onto there also. Yes. And we're going to merge all of this together. Oh, we don't need these either. We don't need this bit. Delete all of that. See ya. Okay, right. Ready? So grab it from there. Merge it in with all of this. There we go. Fendabby dozy. And that is our wing. Guys, we've built a wing. 
Oh, that's insane. That is actually so big. Okay, right. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool. We've done it. We've built a wing. Um, we've merged them hopefully in the right places. This with this? Good. Okay. I'm going to delete this piece. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is have that set to one. So let's get ourselves a constant number. Smack it in there and see if this will work out. Let's just put it inside. I'm sure we've got enough room for it. Go to logic. Attach this. Onto each one of these. Here we go. Yes. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then the same on the other side, which is so far away, it's ridiculous. But um, here we go. So get all the way over here. Yes. Do this, 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 and this. And then make that number one and see what it does. One. Spawn it in. All right, ready? Um, ba -da -da -ba -ba, infinite electricity. Feels like you might be having some issues. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Feels like there are a few issues going on here. <laughs> All right, well anyway, we're gonna leave that like that. That's fine. Now let's go ahead and work on the, the tail, uh, which is obviously something to skip to straight away, isn't it? Yes, definitely not. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this in here. Excellent. Don't know how big these should be. Um, because the wing itself is ginormous. So maybe these should be huge too. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Fantastic. Looking pretty nice. Needs to be bigger though. <laughs> Needs to be bigger than that. There we go. We're going to go out to there. And that seems good. All right, fine. So now we're going to delete the front end, actually. And we're going to start bringing that backwards in pause. And then once we've done that, we should have something that we actually like. Maybe. It's so ugly, it's really, really ugly. But uh, maybe it's fine, who knows. Those wings need to be bigger, uh, which seems ridiculous. But yes, those wings, they need to be bigger. So we're gonna do that. We also need an actual vertical stabilizer, which is just gonna be one of these on its side, if we can. So grab this from there, all the way over to here. Go ahead and cut it or copy it, whatever, doesn't matter. Go ahead and turn it around, move it over to where it needs to be, which is the center, wherever that is. Uh, about there, and we're gonna just have this be plunked on the top of there. All right, fantastic. It looks weird, but sure. Is that the middle? It is. Nice. All right, paste that there, merge it in, and we'll go with that. We now need to delete all of the front end of this um, in order to actually make it fit better, but that's fine. So put that on there. Um, okay, right, delete all of these, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second once I've made this flat. Yep. Okay, we're gonna go with it. <laughs> we're gonna go with this. Uh, I was gonna go ahead and try and use actual um, proper engines, but instead we're gonna go with electric motors and see if we can get it in the sky with those. Um, realistically, I did want to use some proper big diesels, but uh, I feel like that's gonna gonna take too long. Also, look at how small these look compared to the actual plane. This is insane. All right, so as it turns out, we're going to need a million of these. We're going to need so many, it's ridiculous. But there we go. We're going to go ahead and try and plumb these in. Uh, so at least they look somewhat nice uh, whilst they're there, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, so we're going to use these guys right here. There we go. Plop that into there. Fantastic. All right, we're going to do that over and over and over again. And I don't know how many we need, but we're going to go with like, I don't know, five on each wing, maybe. Okay, so clearly these guys are all going to need uh, engines on them, or propellers on them, I should say. Uh, but first, we're going to have to get a pipe and actually a gearbox, maybe a gearbox. Here we go. Um, let's go ahead and just whack one of these on. That's fine. Into the actual thingamabobby itself. There we go. And then we're going to need propellers. I, I don't know how this is going to go. I really don't know. I haven't encountered anything of this size before in order to actually try and move it. So... Clearly, I'm going to have issues, but we're going to try it anyway. So all of this, there we go. We're going to have to add so many control surfaces to this as well, which is ridiculous. But um, hopefully that'll be fine. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and make all of these three to one as well. Yes. Uh, it's going to take some time. But um, yeah, then I'm going to add propellers and we're going to try and get this thing flying. That's all we need to do. Just get it in the air. All right, here we go, guys. This is the, uh, the kind of propeller we're going to use. Uh, and there's going to be, what, five of them on each side? In fact, there's actually going to be more than that because there's going to be um, there's going to be extra ones. Um, where are they? What is what is that even called? No, I don't know the difference between this and this. That's large and that's small. Interesting. I need the small one. There we go. It's interesting that I'm still using the small ones even though we've built the biggest thing, the biggest the biggest propeller aircraft in the game. 
and yet we're still using the small propellers. Ridiculous. Anyway, uh, let's get ourselves a little bit of a seat, whack it inside of here, and that's, uh, that's how we're going to fly it. Right, here we go, one, two, three, yep, then this is the floor. It's going to go across here. Uh, just like that, that's fine. We're not going to have a way to get in here, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's get ourselves a seat, smash this into here like this, you fly it with a steering wheel, off we go. Oh, this is going to be insane. Alright, we need uh, control surfaces at the rear, and a rudder. I don't know whether we're going to use ailerons. I don't think so, anyway. Alright, let me add loads of control surfaces, we'll spawn it in, we'll see if we can fly it. Alright guys, I think it's time. <laughs> I think I think it might be time. I don't know whether those wings are going to actually click into place or not. Hopefully they do uh, manage to actually do that, but uh, they're struggling, they are struggling. I should have added some, um, in fact, let me go ahead and add some things that lock those into place, and then we will try and fly this thing, uh, which is silly, but yeah, let's try it. There we go. All right, the wings are now clipped in, and uh, they are, oh, that one isn't quite, uh, maybe when we get in the sky, I don't know if this is going to get into the sky, uh, but maybe when we do get into the sky, this will actually work. Let me un uh, disconnect this. It's not quite... It's not quite working, is it? Hang on. Hey, there we go. Right, good. So now we're all connected. Let's go ahead and get inside into the uh, the cockpit. Here we go. And um, yeah, let's try and fly this thing. <laughs> this looks so silly. It looks so silly. All right, well, it moves. There's nowhere near enough power behind this, though. We need more power. We need more engines. Okay, I'm not gonna lie guys, we might actually need some jet engines to get this thing into the sky because at the moment I've added a whole load of new um, new motors as you guys can see. I've also added these guys on the bottom to try and push us up. Uh, don't ask why they're all wibbly wobbly like that, they just are. Um, but yeah, I don't understand what's going on here. In fact, actually, these guys aren't even working. What's going on there? Okay, are we ready? Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Awesome. It is actually moving along quite nicely. I, I say that. It's actually moving along very slowly. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, we have our rocket boosters activated. I don't think they're enough to actually lift us into the sky either. Look at that. The rocket boosters aren't enough either. We need more rocket boosters. This is ridiculous. You can't lift us. Uh-oh. Okay, it might not be fully propeller powered anymore, but let's see how this goes. So we're going to try and lift us into the sky. Yes, go ahead and do the rocket boosters. Okay, in front of the plane is out of the water. Okay, fantastic. There we go. Now we're flying. <laughs> okay, now we're flying. We just needed the extra boost. Um, okay, let's wait for those to actually run out of boost, and then we'll see if it still flies. Because I have a feeling these electric motors will keep it in the sky. There we go, look. Boosters are out. We're still flying. Amazing balls. Guys, we did it. We've built the plane that is the biggest in Stormworks. I don't think there's anything bigger than this, I would imagine. So, um, there you go. Good job, us. I'm not going to lie, though. It could look nicer. This is, like, a very, very ugly plane. Anyway, uh, it, ha it controls, which is really nice. The only control it doesn't have is roll, which is unfortunate because at the minute we have rolled to the side. And I can't do anything about it, so that's a problem. But anyway, um, it flies. Oh, now we're falling out of the sky. Uh-oh. I can't do anything about it. We got no roll. It needs roll. Let me do that real quick. You know, I didn't actually expect it to ever get this big, but uh, now it is this big. I, I like it. I think that it should have been wider in terms of its actual fuselage. Uh, and the wings should have been a little bit bigger, but honestly, this is fine. This is uh, exactly how you want it to be. Anyway, this wing has issues. You just gotta grab this and then let go of it and then it snaps into place. Don't know why you have to do that, but you do. Never mind. Anyway, let's get inside again. Let's try and fly this. We now have ailerons. Hopefully they work. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! Let's go! Get us into the sky, please. Oh, is this not gonna... Oh, it is working, it is working, it is working, it is working. It's worked! We're in the sky. Excellent. And off we go. Woo! Oh, this is brilliant! How cool is this? So yeah, this was literally just a one-off video because I thought it'd be really cool, and uh, it turns out uh, it works. That's cool. Anyway, um, the one thing that I do want to try before we actually finish is deleting these things at the front, uh, and instead of using those, let's use the wind to try and lift us out the water. It might work, it might not work, who knows. Oh, and the thing that'll make this easier as well is actually adding a ton of weight to the rear uh, so that it lifts up the front anyway. So let's go ahead and do that and see if we can do this, shall we? Oh, this is going to be so much weight, it's going to be ridiculous. Alright, here we go. So, we're going to have to add literally like 
I don't know, like, like so much weight that it's, it's, I don't know, incomprehensible. Is that the right words? I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep doing it. Here we go. Keep going, keep going. More weight, more weight. Let's do this. Yes. We essentially need to add like a few tons at the back. A few thousand tons at the back, maybe even. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's do this. Okay, keep it going. Fantastic. I don't know how much weight we need to add, but let's just go for it. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Yeah. All right, there we go. That's probably enough, maybe. I don't know. Oggly doggly. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. The back end is weighed down perfectly. Very good. Let's go ahead and fix this wing real quick. Having so many issues. Snap into place. Hey, there we go. Right, let's get inside and, uh, yeah. It'll be a propeller-only plane. Let's, let's do this. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, front end is trying. Front end is definitely trying. Okay, rear is is also trying to pull up too. Oh, it's it's. I think it can get there. I think it might be able to do it. It just might take a, a like a few years to do, maybe. All right, I've turned wind to full, and there we go. Uh, it is it is slowly but surely taking off. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, stop this from doing whatever it's doing. Okay, yeah, okay. So it turns out, turns out that that didn't really work actually. That's weird. <laughs> Unless he wants to fly upside down. Oh, splash down. No, okay, right. That didn't quite work then. Didn't quite work. Try it one more time. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this. This is our last attempt at actually taking off. Hopefully, it is something that we can actually do with the wind. Uh, the wind is currently pacing the wrong way as to how we want to take off. <laughs> That's a bit annoying. Actually, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Do, 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 do. We're going to go ahead and change which way around the wind is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wind direction. Yeah, change it. I don't actually know which way it needs to be blowing. That way. Okay, we're in the sky. We're in the sky. So it takes off with wind, guys. We've done it. Look at us go. <laughs> this is so dumb. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. I built the biggest plane in Stormworks, and um, I like it. So there you go. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.